Yo YouTube, what is going on? This is your boy Dude Named Chris here bringing to you a brand new video. And this video is basically going to be brought to you by uh, one of my subscribers and followers, uh, Charlie Lewis is his name. And he is writing a paper uh, for his college and it's basically... Let me try to sum it up. It's like a lifestyle of a hype beast. He asked me some questions I answered for his uh, paper he was writing. I thought it'd be kind of cool to discuss it on here with the channel. We're using the new camera. I'm really not sure if I'm going to keep this, but we're going to see how it goes and uh, how it records and all that. So let's get into the first question. And the first question is, would you personally call yourself a hype beast? Um, I answered this question yes and no. Like, obviously I'm a hype beast. Uh, to an extent, I love Yeezy. Yeezy 350 is my favorite shoe. And uh, hype has to do with that. I'm not going to lie to you that uh, having a hype shoe does not go in with me wanting the shoe. Personally, I've had a, used to have a bunch more shoes in my collection, but now I rather have uh, basically more sought after shoes, so basically more hyped shoes um, in my collection. I don't want to basically wear a shoe and see a bunch of people wearing it is stuck up or is have that matter that said that I can't even talk words man however that seems I'd rather wear a shoe that I know it's super rare and not that many people are gonna wear it and like it breaks necks I mean every sneakerhead I feel like likes to break necks so might as well do it uh, I'm not a hype beast in the sense that I don't rock with Supreme or Bape don't get me wrong I think their shit is dope it's just not for me me I'm normally always wearing like a nice little cool shirt this is like Russell a nice little cool shirt. I got some, I wear Carhartt shirts, some Nike. I'm not really uh, like a too hype dude on what I wear. Adidas sweats, those is a go-to for me. Um, so yeah, I would say yes, I'm a hype beast. You could like Yeezys like I do, I guess. You gotta be somewhat of a hype beast. Um, the second question he asked was, what would you, what? No, what would you say people find attractive or to have the need to purchase hype clothing, shoes, or accessories, examples, Yeezys, Bape, Supreme, Fear God. And I answer basically, well, I think, I, I think it's kind of blowing up more because it's like the cool thing to do. The cool thing to do, man, is to have Yeezys, to wear the box logo, or wear a Bape shirt, man. You wear the Bape shorts with some Bape shirt with some Yeezys, or the Bape NMDs. And like the hype and the hype is kind of like hit a new level i remember growing up like hype beast was like derogatory almost to a sense like oh you're a hype beast and people used to get mad over that now people are embracing it um well i'm trying to get out what would you say to people find attractive definitely i think it's just the cool thing to do man a lot of people do more to fit in um that's basically what i think it's more it's the cool thing to do right now it's the hot thing to do so you gotta do it just to try and stunt man make himself feel and look cooler i guess um, the third question is, what is your personal view on both the term hype beast and and also brand you prefer in which you feel are overrated? Um, I, I kind of just uh, tapped into it. Hype beast, the word, it's kind of crazy now because Kais basically took the word hype beast and made it like a cool thing and made it like its own like little subculture. Like I said earlier, when you were, I was first getting into shoes, hype beast, like people would get mad over being called a hype beast, and nowadays. It's like the cool thing. Like, yeah, I'm a hype beast. Yeah, I'm a hype beast and I'm proud. So I think that's definitely cool. The sneaker game back then has also already flipped crazily on how, like, retro Jordans have just died, which is blows my mind. But um, it's happened. Um, what do you prefer? Like, this is what I prefer. My life, I was not, a, when these dropped, I was not about these when these dropped. Like, not about these at all. Um... And then I tried them on and I fell in love. So basically, what do I prefer? This is it. That 350, man. And that, anything with boost, it's just it's a game over now. But yeah, this is what I prefer. Not just that model. The model I wear the most is this. So I guess what do you prefer is this. This is me. I hate that. Like I hate how this looks like this, but you make it look like that, man. It looks so much better. I guess this is what I prefer, man. V2s, I found are more comfortable than the V1s. It's a different feel, but they're both extremely comfortable. So, yeah, this is what I prefer. Like, I, that's, like, the main reason why I collect them. Not because the hype, but, man, they're just super comfortable. Um, overrated. I don't feel like really any of them's overrated, to be honest. I'm trying to think. Overrated. Yeah. Maybe Supreme, because Supreme drops new shit every week, and that shit always sells out. Like, some of the shit's not even that dope, and it sells out. So maybe Supreme. 
Um, why do you think the hype beast lifestyle is growing so fast? It's a cool thing to do, man. Kids are embracing it. I'm not knocking it. I think it's definitely dope that they turn a negative into a positive. Um, like I said, you can never go wrong with that. Like, Kais is kind of blowing up. I mean, as he's blowing up, the sneaker community is blowing up. Uh, sorry about that. So I think that's why it's growing so fast. Plus, like, everyone and their mom wants Yeezys. Like, people who aren't even sneakerheads are into Yeezys and think they're dope and want to get their pairs. Like, it's crazy. Like, whenever I get a pair and I post something about them, like, everyone's like, oh, how'd you get them? Let me get some. Help me get Yeezys. Help me get Yeezys. Like, if it was that easy, people, I'd help you all. I'm not going to lie. But I think it's like, like I said, it's a cool thing to do. Um... That's basically what it is. Like, it's a cool thing to do. It helps you fit in with other people. They have, like, their own subculture, I said. So, it's definitely dope. I don't knock it. Yes, I guess I would consider myself a hype beast in the end. I love Yeezys, and I wear them. I like them. One of the reasons why I like them is the hype. So, and I really don't buy shoes right now unless they're super rare because I don't have my funds like that. But we'll be there soon, people. But, yeah, man. Shouts out to Charlie Lewis. This was dope. I had a lot of fun answering this. I told him I was going to make a video. So, here it is. Hopefully the quality on this is great and y'all love it. I think it's gonna be great because I can see it right here and it looks really good. I know I need to change some of the filters and uh, the lighting, and but it looks good. Like if I change this to my face, like it doesn't change, but it looks good. This isn't 4K. This is full 1080p. I kind of figured that helped out a lot with the autofocus and all that. So we're gonna figure this out. Shouts out to the mic. My voice sounds way clear. Y'all can hear my mouth breathing better. But yeah, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please pound the thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want to keep up with me on the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. But until next time, guys, it's been your boy, dude named Chris. Have a good one.